Damn, I better get started. Sweet Dan is kind of like a view just for you. Will you shut the hell up? Nobody gives a rat's ass. <laughs> hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for... Sweet Talking with Sweet Dan Sweet and Comic Book Man in Comic Book Man's video outhouse. You betcha! Yeah. We're doing and, this now. And as always, the video outhouse is coming to you from <laughs> Alternate Reality, located at 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Yeah. Alternate Reality, your all new comics are 15% off every day for every one. 3,200 square feet of fun down here at Alternate Reality. Wow. Be sure... Wow. <laughs> Be sure oh, to fun. stop down <laughs> and pick up a book like Turf yeah. from Image Comics. Right. Turf number one. What is Turf? I could tell you, but I know some other little boy here you. who is just just biting it at the bit in order to get his review out of this I'm thing. I'm all worked up. So Dan. I'm all worked up. Dan. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dan. Yeah. Do it. All right. Here's the deal. I shouldn't like this book. In fact, the premise of this book is so ridiculous. It's stupid! It, it's, it's, it is stupid. It's inane! And yet, because it is so inane and so mind, ah, uh, uh, just out there, it, we're done! It works Let's perfectly. Let's go. We're done. It works perfectly. Oh, it does? We can't leave yet. Oh, it does? Because I can't abandon this book. Oh, okay, it's great. Okay. I've, ab I've abandoned many books early, but, yes. but, um, this is a story about, uh, Prohibition era, America, specifically New York City, yeah. and the organized crime families that run the vice trade. Okay. Uh, hookers, drugs, and booze. Right. All right? All of a sudden, vampires decide they want to run the vice trade. And the title of this first issue is? Fangs of New York. How about that? Come <laughs> on. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Fangs of New York. It's like the movie. Is DiCaprio in it? No. <laughs> oh, okay. But... There are very young and uh, famished-looking yeah. um, Romanian people. Okay. So that's kind of like Leonardo DiCaprio. Just got off the boat, huh? You know what I mean? And and they're the vampires. And they just got off the boat. And they and they and, and they're hungry. And, exactly. Yeah. They figured the best way to live their vampire lives mm -hmm. is to come to America, where everybody at that land, time is coming. Land of opportunity. It's a melting pot. Yes, everybody comes to America in order to live that American dream of starting your own business and making something out of yourself. Roads paved where, with gold. Roads paved stuff. with gold. Where you couldn't in the old country, you can in the new world. And and why shouldn't it be the same for the undead? Why not? Exactly. So, uh, they, they come and they uh, start... Performing organized assaults, good on organized crime families, okay, and uh, tear their throats out, and <laughs> it is awesome. Yeah. And and then I, I've, I've got news for the organized crime families. Yeah, nobody's gonna get worked up over you getting killed. Not nobody's gonna get worked especially up, especially not vampires. Yeah. So so on top of the vampires and the organized crime stuff, right? Oh oh oh, oh, oh. There's, there's a certain there's a element. third. There's a third. Yes. There's a third. It's not just gangsters. It's not just vampires. What else could it be? But it's also. Aliens. Oh, God! <laughs> aliens in this book with the vampires and the crime guys. Oh, man. And and the and the aliens run guns and booze, too. <laughs> alien guns and alien booze. Alien gun runners. <laughs> yes. And they crash north of New York City okay. at the end of the book. Um, here's the deal. Yeah. As ridiculous as all that sounds, it is really well written uh, by a guy named Jonathan Ross. Who, Who's he? Who is uh, nobody, as far as I'm concerned, but... Uh -huh. If you were to live in the UK, That's you England. would probably know where who he is and what he Why? is famous for. Why? Because he apparently is the equivalent of a Letterman or a Leno. Oh, he's got a talk or show. Or a Conan. He's got a talk show. Oh, not the barbarian one. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. The one who's unemployed right now. Yes. <laughs> uh, the one who'll be working at Fox unemployed sometime by the end of this I'm year. To understand it. Uh, but apparently. Um, he's he's a he's a, uh, a pseudo celebrity over in in the UK okay. as as a, a TV personality as well as a guy who wrote a documentary about Steve Ditko. So so this is an example of writers coming from another medium to comic books. Yes, and just to give everybody sort of that fanboy seal of approval, yes. Mark Millar shows up at the end of the book, not in the book, not with like the vampires, the aliens the gangsters, and then Mark Millar. Oh, he, that would just push it over that. He writes in afterward? He writes in afterward. Okay. Sort of sort of giving this guy the the thumbs up, the seal of approval, okay. the nod. The nod. The, the fanboy nod. Uh, and, and honestly, you could team up anybody <laughs> with Tommy Lee Edwards 
and you'll get a beautiful looking product. And and this seriously is probably some of the best art I've ever seen from the guy. Yeah. I love his work. I would buy anything that he illustrates. So that's that's part of the reason I was attracted to the book to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, but the crazy ass lunatic story completely captured my attention. If you're not buying this book, you nice. need help <laughs> because Be <nice. laughs> it is only two ninety nine. Yes, and there are more words in this book, more story in this book. It's very text heavy. It, it is. It's 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 like a, an old school comic where everything isn't decompressed and written for trades. Yeah. So if you're not on board with this, you need to put a three ninety nine book back and give this a shot because. Instead of a 13-minute read, you get a real story that really grabs you, and it's asinine. It's it's not like anything I've ever seen before. When we say text-heavy, we don't mean that it's like a it's block not a of prose. text. It's all dialogue. Yes. It's all dialogue. It's all dialogue. Belongs. And description and stuff and description. like that, and 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 it and it works really well with the art. Edwards illustrates the book so that the sometimes massive text balloons mm -hmm. uh, don't take away from the visual experience. It's balanced really well. It really is. It's balanced very well, the text and the art together. It, it, the artist looked at the text and, actually, and was working hard with getting the oh, panels yeah. set up so that one wouldn't overpower the other. They work quite well together. So while I'm normally very harsh, I would like to express my sincere appreciation in anyone who supports titles like this. See how I'm straining to, to be nice? This is, this is difficult. Uh, so... Seriously, buy the book, or I'll come to your house. Okay. The review is up on the website right now as we speak. Stop by and check it out. And you can also stop by the store. I still have copies of this down here. Why? Alternate reality. I come still get have, that. I still, well, when I ordered it, when I'm I ordered coming. it, when I ordered it, I knew it was going to be something. I didn't know what, but I knew it was going to be something. Sort of missed the boat on, on Shield. But this I ordered, and it's available here at the store. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't right get now. to read Shield. Yeah. I, well, but I read this instead, and it was awesome. Galactus fights Leonardo da Vinci. Ooh. Oh, I anyway, it. stop up at the store's website and check out his review. And of course, the store's website is at. Alright, Queen of Redundancy here. www.myalternatereality.com. So, stop off at the store's website, check out his reviews, and until next time, this is Comic Book Man. I'm on my way. By, saying. By <laughs> saying. Bye! This month's Hero of the Month sale at Alternate Reality features the Bloody Pulps. That's right, all of my pulp reprints and all of my pulp trade paperbacks are all 25% off all month long at Alternate Reality. Now, this includes The Shadow, Doc Savage, The Avenger, G8 and his Battle Aces, Spider, High Adventure, and many, many other fine titles. And Planet Stories as well. And if you pick up Planet Stories, you can find out the secret of the Queen of the Martian Catacombs. So be sure to stop off at Alternate Reality all month long for our Hero of the Month sale. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.